All right, absolutely fantastic. Always nice hanging out with you right here on this morning show. And my good name is Sanko, and I'm so excited to be right here. This is exactly the last segment of this morning show today. But as always, we can interact on our socials, Facebook, Insta, Twitter, at y 24 channel underscore on the gram and press one on that hashtag which is hashtag why in the morning okay that's where you get to get the juice and now this segment is all about mcm and we're definitely going to argue a little bit okay so you can check zungu or maturi so we can balance for see and for see and what the cold phrase of verbs in english <laughs> phrase of verbs <laughs> for those that study english as, as 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 a minor as a major so today we're going to talk about how do you officially is it should it be officially or just let's say merely how do you officially end an argument especially those that argue a lot with a better half could be your brother could be your sister but they are sibling rivalry sometimes it never ends but you know what at the end of the day there's always those arguments that pop up left right and center but you have to keep them objective but there's escalate like from a thousand to you know 50,000 <laughs> or from zero to a thousand really fast. That's literally the conversation we're going to delve into on our Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter as well. And joining us live in studio today are two powerful lady and gentlemen. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. I'm going to start with the lady. Yeah, first of all, good morning, guys. Good morning. Karibuni sana. So uh, I'm going to let you introduce yourselves and uh, maybe perhaps what you guys do Very faster well. than we can get to the topic at hand. I'm Susan Mora. And I am a journalist. Okay. Journalist, period. <laughs> um, Eric Darlingstone, Irongo. Uh -huh. I'm a filmmaker. Okay. Uh, I do part videography, part photography. Yeah. And that's how I earn my living. Right, amazing. You guys are like in the same, same field. Yeah. yeah. Which is really amazing. Now, let's get to the topic. And as much as you guys are still on, in the same field, as you work with people, you meet different people. Not just family, but even workplaces. Uh, you're networking. Even for you to get here, yeah, you spoke to one, two, three people. But there's those that conversations just don't click. And uh, there's those you agree, and there's those you don't agree. But then there's somebody who mentioned you can agree to disagree or disagree to agree. But now when it comes now an argument, especially, uh, can I say maybe the toxic conversations, Zilla and in the end up, you're like, we are Marusha, we are Matusi, we are Mesemaiki, we are Kabla, to proportion, nini, nini, and then it can toxic. Especially now in a normal day-to-day -day conversation, how do you guys argue objectively? First of all, maybe let's start from a point, like, what exactly makes arguments to pop up? Nini is in a trigger, or say, do you want to be Shana, want to Tusiana, nini, nini, before we get to, like, how do you end an argument? Maybe perhaps I can start with you, uh, Susan. Like, what do you think in a funny say, want to disagree? Especially in, in conversations, mostly. Okay, like you see, like you ain't talking with someone. Okay, unaza sema kitu nyo unaza sema. The other person, I feel like, I mean, kama me discourage, ni kama me discourage. But then, unaza I take it personally. So the argument unaza asia for the time, and I feel like no, yeah, uh, apana. <laughs> so and I feel like I always ni fanya evo. So what I can say is. Just jaribu kuji control. Iyo argument inyo ineza leta iyo kitu. Just jaribu kuji control. Si ende to an extent inyo ineza fanya like mu have a serious fight about argument. Yeah. yeah. Na ma apoko relationships ndo uwe zina shika sana. But I'd also like to hear from you, Eric. What do you think from your experience, even as a gentleman? Nini nafanya nga wase wana disagree? Na utakuta zile vitu wase wana disagree on. Vitu zingine very minute, like very tiny things. You said this, I didn't agree with it. Oh, I don't like you, nini, nini. Like from you, what makes people to disagree? Um, I think first before getting into a conversation, uh, you risk opening your mouth. Mm -hmm. So mostly you'll find uh, probably what you're thinking uh, and maybe what you'll utter will not be uh, the same uh, maybe to what uh, person, the other person atasikia, matataka kuskia from you. Yeah. But then once you start engaging, then you know this other person uh, right. uh, mentally what he, he's thinking and maybe yeah. probably what you guys want to engage about. But then uh, you find kuna mtakosana juya venye probably utaongea because people no. have been raised from different backgrounds. True. So mm. what you've probably uh, engaged and uh, maybe come across with, ata venye we unaongea, 
venye yeah. maybe a friend atakuwa anaongea itakuwa yeah. maybe a different thing so i think hapo oh, yeah. kwanza uh, before making a conversation with somebody then yeah. you really risk opening your mouth ndio ujue utasema mm. nini unajua kabla kabla uh, waambia mtu kitu lazima mm. uko umesha engage akili yako utamwambia nini yeah. Yeah, yeah but as those instances where you're you're speaking to Maybe you speak to a person you don't like. <laughs> of course you always penda kila mse. Kuna ol, kuna ole mse unasikia anga. Eh, hey, mwezi click. Now it's just natural. There's nothing you can do about it. But then itakuta for example easy conversations are politicians, easy political analysts. Utakuta said your position in a meet na said yenye na lead and then kuna political salvos thrown left right and center. But then it itako ile said na chukulen kama aholi wa twisi. But then they said is like we're just arguing professionally i'm at the way a normal conversation a normal argument should happen do you also think especially when it comes to uh story in the, like uh, personality um profession uh sometimes uh status quo for example to reach and i'm to me yeah i think uh, uh, the factors contribute yeah i think so because you'll get at some point kuna hizi phrases zenye politicians wanapenda kutumia for example the honorable ruto anapenda kutumia ye kijana ama uh, raila anapenda kutumia some type of frame kuna wale utasikia wana, wanaanza kuuliza what are you saying yeah? Yeah. so in venye tu mesema in terms of uh, ku they are bringing in terms of uh, uh, the rivalry na kuna wa pia watu wenye probably umpendi yeah. unamwona you feel like amekufika ah, yeah, mahali so na haja kufanyia kitu eh you know the type of people maybe upbringing mostly ndio yeah. inafanyanga you hate a person because okay. you'll find probably you're from a single parent family mm-hmm. and maybe you've been having your father you've been having a mother who is a drunkard so through that and you, you could probably be seen their faces in them or yeah. on them so mm, I, i get what you're saying yeah. in short one i could trigger yes nice uh, let me get back to you susan and then we'll also pick up from that point um uh, do you feel like or say argue sana is it ni madem ama ni machali what we gani wana kuangana mdomo mingi sana kuliko na hii meme yenye hii ndege kuna ndege fulani tu imetulia and then kuna ndege nyingine imeangalia na imepanua mdomo and then kwa caption ilikuwa nasema you can easily tell which one is the male and which one is the female <laughs> from your experience do you feel like it's ladies who argue a lot or both or maybe it's even vice versa okay what i can say is okay let me say like ladies wanapenda kwa gi sana as ladies tunapenda kwa gi sana like hatupendi yeah. kuona like tuko chini so tunapenda pia si kujeka ai pia sasa amezi tuweka chini so pia sisi tunaonyesha like we can do it uh-huh. so naweza sema ladies wanapenda kwa gi though even boys do argue but uh-huh. ladies wanapenda kwa gi sana you know like as ladies tunakwanga yeah tunakwanga <laughs> na tempters zingine wezi zielewa uh-huh. one thing naweza fanya like eh a atuna fi no yeah. <laughs> napata tu hasira zimepanda tu once basi yeah. naweza pata mwanaume hata kama hasira zimepanda anajua tu ku anajua kuzicontrol kiasi yes. but as ladies yeah. tunakuwa na hasira nyingine ya juu sana so una tu yeah. maneno left right and but, yeah, but kuna mwenye yeah. anaweza jua kuzicontrol kuna mwenye anaweza what you can say is yeah. una choose your words before useme so kuna mwenye anaweza zicontrol na kuna mwenye anaweza fika ai a a uwezi i can't yeah yeah interesting but most in most instances it's usually anger that leads to people to make them argue yeah, when a person is extremely angry <laughs> or like you say uh, for you you said you choose your words before you say them yeah. but for in this situation we are extremely angry this person has made you angry ama erica kwamesema umemwona and then unasikia tu amekufika kwa koo how do you regulate the words you say because in most cases when you're angry anything that comes out of your mouth is extremely toxic mm-hmm. it could it, it could be it could be maybe a nice word but definitely it, it will just find a way it could be toxic to the other person and take a compliment so you can uh, have uh, instances where a person is trying to give another compliment but to them they're taking it as an insult you're like hey na leo na kaje but ile design may come imekuja ni kama yenyewe hauishimu vile na kaa leo you know mm-hmm. but kumbe the person means that 
you know you really look fantastic and gorgeous but hile design imetoka kwa hiyo mdomo it's like no wewe uko na chuki na mimi yeah like ni kama anasema like it is in a violence when vanye hata kusema direct so that's an asema like usi usi arakisha kuchukua vitu personally just mm -hmm. just calm down na uchukue in a negative way usichukue in a in a positive way so kuna yeah. mnyaz was like have you mesema mtu anaambia wow susan you look so smart i'm yeah. like na mbona zile siku zingine unaambi okay. but nawe anasema i'm like i uko sure hutaki kusema something else but right. nasema too thank you na cool down nasema it's okay yeah yeah like eric mentioned uh, like everybody reacts am not taking the situation ama everyone sees a situation in the lenses mm -hmm. of their background which i i, I a thousand percent agree because uh you can imagine someone you talk at an abusive home state well for example uh maybe the person who was trying to compliment them alikuwa mtocha ama alikuwa anaisema in a sarcastic way ile designer like ah sasa una kapoa unajua una kapoa si ndio Mm. But then, to them, they subconsciously they're interpreting it in a way that this is abusive, this is toxic. So, what are uncomfortable with compliments, and then uh, that can also lead to a fight or a disagreement. Now, let me shift the same um, uh, mindset to you, uh, Eric. Do you feel like uh, men in this generation don't argue? <laughs> Ama don't argue a lot. Ama um, we are in a space where we're encouraged to fight back. Like when a woman throws this word, you throw it back. Is it even healthy, especially in this day and age? Um, I would say some scientific uh, numbers have come up where you'll find ladies speak more than 20,000 words a day, while men probably speak like uh, 70 or 7,000. Mm -hmm. So people say men are lunatics. While ladies and men are, are no, men are lunatics. Lunatics. Yes. While <laughs> okay. ladies are nuts, because wow, uh -huh. you uh, probably you will not be in the akilia um, koyeziko right. While unaongea too much, you only twenty thousand words. No na. So alafu unapata manomia naongea close to seven thousand words. So that is in a day. Yes, in a day. Uh -huh. So with that statistics, una, unapata mwanaume, yeah. ukikuwa uki, uki very agitated na lady, you first think about what they have said, and then yeah. you react. Lakini, kuna some other instances that you'll react, kwa sababu probably umekua ukingoja ui mtu, venye ume, umekua ki, ukisikia meongea, kuna mali amekufika kwa ko, hapo... Mm -hmm. Ni lazima you ya hizo 7000 words za yako ya hiyo siku uiweke kwa yake at yeah. least akuwa amefikisha yake hiyo 20000 so yeah i yeah. think before a, a, a gentleman uh, really argues with a lady then atakuwa amefikishwa mahali na this lady before aweze uh, kumwambia whatever amemwambia or maybe yeah. engage in an argument Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's an interesting statistic. I'll read about it. Now, uh, uh, I'm also on that year statistic. What of men who live alone? <laughs> the moment you are done talking for the day until the next day. So, unless you are doing English, especially when you are speaking. That means you are speaking less than 500 words in a day. Yeah. When you are solo, you are doing job, job done. Maybe you are like two, three people job. Once it's done, you go back to your lonely self. <laughs> that means you're done talking <laughs> for the day you shafunga business. <laughs> yeah, you see, most men really are not people. See what to ongea, ni what to actions. Right. So, if you are really action oriented men, kutoka uh, Adam, so that is when you kuishi. But then you'll find out that uh, this men who tuko hivi tunaenda kwa nyumba uh, we, we are not speaking to anybody probably you are also single uh, ukai hata na bro yako um, yani uko pale kwa bed sit up or probably a single so yeah. this happens that mentally a man men tunakuanga tuko chini sana right. uh, you remember june is the mental health men's day mm -hmm. so month sorry so 
that way tuna tunajaribu hata um, in a lot of shows in a lot of people's mouths hautaskiwa me mention such things but then these are things that we also need to check hata tukiongelelea um, men not speaking too much yeah yes but um what what if uh, what if the somebody was telling me like uh, if you feel alone and you stay alone bono si chukuleo as an opportunity to create a safe a safe space of like you being in a space where you love yourself you give yourself love other than being out there a lot like uh, in in the in the in the space of interacting with a lot of people why can't you find a satisfaction in just being alone and and i happen to have met like two three friends who are like they just comfortable okay peke yake hataki kuongea na mtu hataki chochote akishatoka job ni kwa nyumba like hataki hata simu aspigiwa so i was really wondering you know with what you said like mentally i i feel like maybe it goes also to personality as well you see a lot of when you speak a lot you open your heart a lot so yeah. you will not be holding on to the, that uh, emotional bag yes akili yako at least itakuwa free utaweza right. kuenda usome books you see uh-huh. utaweza kuona movie bila kufikiria ah kukona this person mwenye alikasirisha asubuhi yeah. na personality doesn't really matter when it comes to maybe talking because yeah. there are friends when you want to engage na ukue we ni mtu unaongea sana lakini mm-hmm. kuna wale watu ukika nao hapa eh uko na tashwishwi unashinda tu ukisumbuka sumbuka so yeah. it really depends with those people who uh, who put you up and those people who try to bring you down all right yeah all right let me come back to you susan um, mm-hmm. as we pick it up on a different angle what do you think uh, especially in relationship setups <laughs> that makes uh, women to argue a lot with their other half especially maybe if a person is dating um maybe they are almost engaged as well or maybe they're just temporary partners because you know this thing sometimes they last sometimes they don't and we've seen people who wed they did a massive wedding kidogo hata ijafika 2 years washaachana but then utakuta they argued by the way they argued before kachana huyu akakuja akasema oh sijui ni toxic huyu akasema sijui oh huyu ni deadbeat you know what could possibly lead to especially lovers arguing and then entirely splitting up first what i can say is one thing just be open be open about your feelings and uh-huh. don't worry about being right Oh, no nice. one is perfect. That. Be open about your feelings and don't worry about it. Yeah, cuz ah, no one is perfect. <laughs> no one is perfect. <laughs> yeah, no one is perfect. Then mkaichini uh-huh. msikizane, useme kama kuna kitu yale kumweza mwambie. Yeah. Eh hey, kuna kitu hapo linabia ama kuna, kuna action ulifanya unajua kuna mwingine anaweza fanya action bila yeah. kusema any word. Wewe unaona tu by action unaona. He hey, huyu mtu ni kama hapa ni kama atu energy ya moja like atuko pamoja hapa. Yeah. So mnaweza kaa chini muongele msikizane useme eh hey, kuna kitu nafanyanga hivi na na feel like I'm not comfortable. Unajua kuna mbiongo like unaka na mtu mwenye anakupea peace. Mm-hmm. Unaweza kaa na mtu mwenye uko tu naye lakini hakupei peace una feel like hey, niko naye lakini I feel like I need something like Okay like anipe hiyo pisi yenye nataka. Yeah. So ni pomna kachi mnasikizana kama huyu anakuha tumwambia ukinifanyia hivi na feel like there's a way like si feel for una ni heart. Na yeah. like you know ukikataa kuambia mtu mtu haizi fikira mfikiri the same so is it then una heart. So it's good umwambie eh he said I'm not comfortable with that. Eh then right. discuss na vitu zitakuwa sawa. Eh right. if kama mtu haizi change you know right. just happiness na za tu muondokea Yeah. yeah but uh, in the relation relationship are usually sensitive and also emotive i don't know if they're emotive like emotionally invested mostly a lot for the men or for the women who do you think invest a lot of emotions in relationships i mean it's both do you guys feel like it's men who invest emotions a both. lot of women <laughs> both <laughs> are both invest emotions yeah i think for me it's ladies uh-huh. because ladies often are more emotional while men are materialistically uh, ni watu wenye wanapenda kuonyesha yenyewe mimi yeah. ama giver but then right. emotionally uh, kidogo tunakuanga emotionally unavailable yes <laughs> unavailable right 
But uh, also when you look at it from a point of like a young, a young person's mind, for example, uh, in, in, a, in a space of family now, uh, wase waki grow up pamoja, kuna kuangana ule sibling, lazima mta kwa mnashinda mkipigana, <laughs> and it was sibling rivalry. And uh, all this is actually part of the dynamics that what you could interact, which is uh, inter interpersonal relationships between not even just family, even uh, friends. But how do, you, how do you argue objectively with your sibling to a point how mumizi? And then you can end it like peacefully, especially if you're firstborn. Am I any lastborn? Because I hear lastborns and firstborns energy out. Like, like, he's, like yeah, he's like a younger parent to the firstborn. <laughs> In fact, he end on a parent, the rest of the family. How do you argue oh, objectively uh, so that you don't hurt your smaller sibling? Especially come on him some stubborn. I don't know if any of you who's uh, any of you who's a firstborn? I'm a lastborn. <laughs> oh, I'm a firstborn. You're a firstborn. Yeah, yeah. Susan, I'm a lastborn. <laughs> you're a last ah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pick it up from there. <laughs> Let's pick it up from there. So uh, from your firstborn, let me start off with you, Susan. From your firstborn experience, uh -huh. is it a sister or a brother? A sister. All right. Uh monkey argue my ladies and your stubborn. As in how how would she giving instructions and direction? I'm a, how was she correcting you? Whenever you missed a mark or you did something wrong, like you know, like okay, let me say, like when I saw your first born, when I was born, when I was born, I was first born, but I was coming like like he didn't come, Zazi. So me, yeah. first born, I feel like I don't know when I was born, I don't know when I was born, I don't know when I was born, I was six months. How? So I feel like I was coming, 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 Na, I did your argument. Na, mtetu pia na maneno. Nya, 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 yiri yara. Kala zilo neza pata, eh, maybe kana sema hizo mavitu. Na kuna pata tu last, na first, but na mesema tu one word. Na ime, wakilisha everything. Yeah. All right. Mr. Firstborn, how are you treating your last ones if you have one? Ama you are the first one, it's still last one. There's like a couple of siblings in between. Yeah, I have, we are only two in our family. Uh -huh. So dem na boy, I'm a uh, dem na boy. Oh, nice, balanced still. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you treat your sister? You see, to my chanana three years. Uh -huh. So what I've gone through with my parents, it's not the same thing. I'm a same trauma, I'm a same situation. Yeah, me pitiya when I'm a pata familia yetu ikiwa. So through that, ni me kuwa very humble enough to do a she takes after my father or takes this after my mother labda haongea anaongea anga mingi kama mom mi naongea kiasi kama dad so with that so you're more reserved and conservative yeah she's more about going yeah and talkative yeah so that way you'll find nikimwambia kitu i i nafanya in a humble manner namwambia hey hapa nataka tufanye hivi lakini sitaweza kukusaidia unaona yeah. so that means atafanya peke yake lakini yeah. kama mimi ni yule mtu nitamwambia hey, nataka uendoshe hizo viombo kwa sababu mimi ni first born nasikia yeah. venye yeye anasema yeah. jina moja jina e, moja ifanywe hivi <laughs> ina inakuwa ni hivyo iko kwa iko kwa nyumba but then yeah. with knowing venye ame bring you up na the fact that and uh, you demand respect from her through uh -huh. kumwongelesha ina in a manner that when he brother ake we si uh -huh. baba ake we si mama yake right. so that way na kwa mnaishi a happy life na probably amtakuwa na zile sibling uh, right. conflicts yes, yes 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 so hata bukitoa do right. ama um, akupigia kuambie niko niko chini si unisaidie definitely utamwambia eh hey, labda pia mimi niko chini hii siacha ni kupea hii kidogo that way atakuangana yeah. na eh hey, lakini bro kuna anakuanga chini lakini ananisaidia lakini mm. kama ni ule mtu unapigiwa na mpana kushow eh hey, sina kitu si utakuwa umekasirika sasa hiki kinatoka kwa nyumba asubuhi ana yeah. kitu ya kufanya <laughs> sasa atashindwa when when elder wa, wa, yeah. eh yeah. 
Kuna kwanga na ile big bro pride. Yeah. yeah like so, I have a big brother. Uh, he's a protector. I have a big sister. Ile big sis energy. So in short, I'm party big bro energy. I'm uh, a big sister energy. How ndio sasa unapata kuko na rivalry. Na unasikia yeah. watu wengi wanaongelesha nangi juu ya probably huyu ni mtu amezaliwa an year after the yeah. other. So I'm like even three years. Yeah. Kala kawa wewe unashindia na three years. Yeah. Apart, which so, is a big margin. Yeah, hiyo ni a big margin juu. Kutoka maybe two years, lazima familia ina elevate kidogo. Yeah. Kama mulikuwa mnaishi kwa slab, saizo mtapata mnaishi. Maybe yeah. one bedroom ama single mahali. Yeah. Like a new growth. Yeah. Physical and also mental. Yeah. As well. So that way utapata um, um, conflict that much. But right. then, kama nyinyi ni watu, maybe m- unataka kuonyesha huyu, wewe ndio kusema kwa hiyo nyumba, wewe ndio second born, wewe ndio last born, so you really need to watch your mouth. Then yeah. that way, akutakuwa na any discipline between you people, la mutakuwa mnaongelesha na venye inafaa, maybe an issue ikitokea na uh, kama ni mtu wameenda kalewa, yeah. ama amekuwa dragged somewhere, ama amekuwa in a very big issue, utapata ya napigia friends hapigi the brother ama hapigi sibling yeah so is only you don't expect that uh, if you're in trouble mm. somebody to come and bail you out should be your sister yeah. or your big brother yeah. but when akuta you guys are not coherent yeah which i feel like is very bad very but i think it depends also you know there's people who have a very danced and an extremely tight broken in fact the word is broken broken relationship with part of the families maybe while you were hurt at some point in life and it was so detrimental to their mental well-being self-esteem whatever so you'd prefer to even call a friend and a friend can even help you faster than a family member right yeah right i think um, uh, mm-hmm. probably you in a letter na hiyo kuto jua mali mmetoka unaona maybe right. Uh, baba kwa alikuwa na kupeleka pole pole unaona unaona mm. maybe dad mama kimkasirisha dad yeah. ananyamaza so yeah. in a situation kama hiyo unapata you in a grow in you then mm-hmm. probably uh, iku mess up juu na shindwa eh mbona dadi hajarudishia mama ama yeah. mbona mama hajarudishia dadi so unaona mm-hmm. you are growing in a, uh, in a family which, which has a lot of love yeah lakini kama ni mulikuwa conflicts na maybe dad, dad ndio mama mama anapigana ba eh yeah. ju maybe mmezaliwa mmezaliwa uko eh, maybe twin sama mmezaliwa triplets ama quadra, eh, quadruplets so unapata yeah. maybe ma conflicts zimekuwa mingi kwa nyumba ama ni loans zimefanya mkuwe na issues that's yeah. why i really advise schools wakuwe na psychiatrists Uh, mm-hmm. maybe kukuwa na like psychology a de- department yeah, yeah. kukuwa na psychology DLC. programs mm-hmm. ndio at least uh, watu wenye wamekuwa in such toxic families yeah. wanaweza pata help maybe yeah. uh, in these situations uh, families wanapata ndio uh, wanaitwa in these gatherings kujua yeah. uh, maybe mbona huyu anapitia this mbona anakuja anapiga watoto shule Mbona mm. naibia watu kalamu shule unaona mbona ni dismissive eh, and distractive as haungiangi sana mm-hmm. so anakanga mekasirika tu mm, 24/7 akiambiwa kitu ndio huyo yeah. pia anajibu yeah. back <laughs> wow that's a lot that's a lot to learn from yeah. but then uh, back to you Susan i feel like here arguing is not really a bad thing arguments are not really um, an argument is not a bad thing It also exposes your communication skills, your communication styles. You mentioned at some point your emotional capacity and your mental capacity and also your sense of awareness and emotional growth. But then uh, what happens kwa wase wenye they keep a record of all the bad things. Uh ni ule msana jekeanga vitu. Uh anakumbuka vitu hadi ulifanya 2012 ulimfanyia But then I'm going to go to the incident ya leo tu umemkwaza tu kidogo ra na anatoa a whole printout it's like a whole book amekotoa kiaka vitu then you'll learn year 2012 2020 2019 ama zileta hapo but time yote ajakuwa kisema kitu amekotoa kinyamaza and then I'm explore that I is kupea chance ujibu ama ujitete what happens to such people okay one thing just try a ad- try and understand point of view of someone kuna mnyanaweza kwa anaongea like ni kama ana okay like 
kuna mimi anaweza kuambia anything ukienda kumcorrect anaona ni kama unataka kumuingililia sana but yeah. uko like ni kama hapo umekosacha ni kuonyesha hii jeni una style kusema ama kupitia yeah. so kuna mwingine anaweza kukuambia unajua hata kuna siku lisemanga hii kitu na leo umejirudia tena so yeah. unaweza kuwa unasaidia mtu at the same time mtu anaona ni kama unataka like ni kama unamuingililia sana you know there are those people, people are called like ai wacha uh -huh. kuniingilia mbona unaingilia maisha yako ya maisha yangu si kila mtu akona maisha yake mm. but unajaribu tu kumsaidia yeye anaona tu ni kama Okay anaona tu ni kama una mwingira ama maybe kuna place ulikuwa umeona ame post something ama amefanya kitu na huku mwambia yeah. that time. Sasa yeah. this road unamwambia everything. Sasa ko like ni kama adu unamfuatilia maisha yake. Right. So ako like anajami to conclusion ni kama unamfuatilia hadi maisha yake unashindwa kufuatana na yeye everywhere kitu right. anafanya na huko huko unamsaidia tu. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what if what if those that you know perhaps it comes from a genuine place? Like mm -hmm. argument, yake, yes, you're trying to, to correct him or her, yeah. but it comes from a genuine place. Maybe there's a time when you miss now it's genuine, alumia, but you didn't notice it. And do you know most of the time when you're hurting someone with words, you, you can't know if you're hurting them, if your words are hurtful to them. Yeah, yeah because you don't know the weight of those words and how they affect them emotionally. So, what if from someone you genuinely like heart, and maybe this is the time they have to revert. <laughs> yeah, kuna maybe let me say like okay, kama like two friends wako hapa, kuna mmoja ame hurt mwingine, right? Yeah. So as good as friends unakuwa open unaambia mtu, yeah. eh hata kama we ni best yangu, kuna venye unafanya ama unanifanyia na feel like hapana unanikosea tu hapa. So unakuwa tu open, unaambia best yako, I just do right, niache ku like ni kama unaogopa kufanya anything. Mm -hmm. Like try to help him or her. Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, let me sample some of your feedback. I think we've got around six minutes to go. Uh, there's uh, somebody in it, uh, Lozi, Molly, and I say my good morning. Good morning, too. Just been silent. I hate arguing. <laughs> so those people who prefer to just like mute, uh, no comments, no nothing. Mm -hmm. They say looking a fool. Am I looking like a fool? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Morris, Jacob, Makoha, and I say my good morning. Good morning, too. As usual, tuned in from Kakamega, Namusia, Cabras. My best line to end an argument is I just keep quiet. Hey, kwa you guys, mesha mwa Kenya, nini? And then Henry D. Jong, and I say my good morning, good morning. I tuned in live from Vasha. Oh, where, 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 Henry, when you quilly. I usually keep silent and go out some time, then back when arguments are over. Oh, wow. That's therapeutic. Like, unacha, unacha kila kitu unenda, unarudi kama arguments zimeisha. I guess you could be married, but from your profile, you don't really look married. I'm judging from TV side. See, see, literally. <laughs> uh, there's a, uh, there's, wait, nani amesema reason ya ku argue, uh, nice, nice ndoi. <laughs> Anajita za yo, ama itza yo. Good morning, good morning to you. Anasema, I don't argue. Mimi mtu wa kianza kuagyu, ni natoka, ni naenda, either ni rudi, ama ni si rudi. Ni kaya for some time, mwenye anagyu, apu mzike. <laughs> Alright, uh, Adimilo Kingori wa Magumba anasema, kita kuramba, just that, even there, anasema. Okay, and then the last one, anajita plati, plati pas ke i. Eh hey, sawa. Anasema mimi ukinishinda kwa argument na kutemea mate kwa mdomo. Alana <laughs> make up emojis za zile za twist macho imeangalia jo anasema show iko late. Thank you Platypus KE. As you can see from this feedback guys, it seems like like everyone has their own a style and version of handling an argument. But then now, how do you end it objectively? Uh, just, uh, I would like one line from you, maybe just a few lines from you and then uh, from you as well. Like, how do you end an argument well? Ama, how do you, uh, maybe you can tell us how to be mean. <laughs> who, who can tell us, how, how do you become mean to a person in an argument? And how do you end it in a subtle and a nice way? So perhaps you can think of like, how do you become mean to a person like you, you can't argue man you can't argue with me <laughs> uh, how do you become mean to a person and then how do you end it in a smooth way so i'm gonna go with you kuna some punchlines uh kitambo uliko unasikia mtu wakikuambia sa unataka kulia yeah. ama unasikia mungine anakuambia currently endo kasikia vibaya uko well <laughs> so kukola some type of words like those that 
probably you could tell somebody ama kuko na this other punchline uh, maybe ya kuumiza mtu uh, you might tell them uh, you see my beat uh, I, the way you are talking yeah. does not uh, go in hand with your ugly face so <laughs> sometimes people use a lot of uh, tags nani yeah. hizo currently naweza sema najua mbaya yeah and mm. what's it really toxic sana way? like what's a hurtful yeah, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, i think is it a philosopher or one of the writers who said people will remember what you said to them than what you did to them i don't know if it i don't know if it's true like mtu atakumbuka zile maneno aliambiwa and it seems like it's true why do i keep on remembering words in kwa naambiwa ni kiodition for the first time we can zangezi stories are media as like you're being told no you're too black very mousy you're too like what's just echo in your brain and they're permanently aged man i would be careful on the words you, well, you i also people. think that men tend to hold emotional baggage too much than right. ladies because ladies uh -huh. uh, if you're a person who uh, is a materialistic giver then yeah. wao watakupenda kabisa lakini mm. hawataeka zile emo, they are not people like wanapenda kusikiza eh yeah. hawapendi kusikiza mm. lakini wanaume si tunapenda kusikiza ndio maana zinatumiza right. sana lakini right. ladies we mpe kitu ai yeah. utaanza ataanza kusema ai and they are very expressive yeah. like they they express it like once twice done yeah. but for you it's just permanently aged because <laughs> hata utaisema uh, it's like you take it to the grave yeah All right, interesting. Uh, Susan, how do you end a conversation, an argument rather, in a sweet way? Msema yuko bani le mbaya but you're like God bless your heart. <laughs> okay, like you know, kuna these people some people let me say some people wana kuangana hiyo weakness ya aga issues. So kuna manyana za hasira zake zikifana kuzirudisha chini kuzicontrol inaweza kuwa gumu sana. So what I can say is just try to cool yourself just try to calm yourself na kama ukiona he fight na zana to an extent you can just keep quiet yeah yeah just being quiet being silent yeah Okay you guys are, are giving are giving the best the best uh, sentiments ever so you can see your social media as we go uh, very fast Facebook Suza Mwaura TikTok Su Adasko Mwaura Instagram Su Adasko Mwaura Okay, Eric. Um you can find me on all platforms at D underscore Stone Productions and at Facebook Eric Darling Stone. All right, those are your social media handles. Yeah. yeah. So, so thank you guys. It has been an amazing chance. I feel like we just got started. Wow, thank you. All right, you're welcome. And we end it here by the way, uh on that hashtag which is why in the morning on Facebook, Instagram and on Twitter at Y244 underscore channel on the gram and everywhere else on social media as Y244 channel. We see you tomorrow for entrepreneurship Tuesday as well as health Tuesday as well. Personally at Brian Sakwa 101, I'm Brian Sakwa again. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. <laughs>